Security cameras in the city center where they resided captured a detailed account of the incident. It all begins with a vehicle pulling up outside the building. Several images showcase the brutality of the university professor as he slapped his wife several times across the face. This all happened even before they could leave the vehicle. Tatiana tried desperately to fight him off, but his brute strength was obviously too much for the 29-year-old lawyer. But it didn't end there. The husband continued to torment Tatiana even after they got out of the car. The sickening display of violence continued in the underground park of their building. The brute battered her without remorse, overpowering her every attempt to defend herself. She tried to run away through the parking lot, but the man chased her down and grabbed hold of Tatiana, hitting her again and again. She somehow managed to escape and ran towards the elevator. CCTV images show a desperate Tatiana running for her life. She was chased yet again by her husband. The woman managed to get into the elevator first and frantically pushed the button so that the door would close and she would be safe. Unfortunately for her, that didn't happen. Louis Philippe managed to outrun the closing mechanism of the elevator door and got inside, where Tatiana was in the corner, fearful for her life. After the doors closed, the elevator started going up and it seemed that her husband calmed down. That is, until the doors opened yet again. Tatiana ran for the exit but was stopped in her tracks. Her husband laid his hands on her and pulled the young lawyer inside, not letting her escape. The shocking images show the lengths that Tatiana went to for her life to be out of harm's way. But the strength of the steroid-using strongman was too much for her. He swung her across the metal walls, hitting her head and making her fall to the floor. Those were the last images found when Tatiana was breathing. Soon after the brutality that went on in the elevator, the two got out the door and went inside their apartment. It's not clear exactly what happened there, but the outcome was horrible. It seemed that about 15 minutes had passed since they left the elevator. We can only imagine the brutality that took place behind closed doors. Other CCTV footage taken from the cameras outside the building, right in front of the entrance, shows a body dropping on the pavement, right there on the sidewalk. The images are so brutal that they have been blurred. But the most shocking thing was about to happen. Not knowing what to do and fearing the consequences of his actions, Louis Philippe leaves his apartment. He goes down, exits the building, and then takes the corpse from the sidewalk, carrying it inside. He was hoping that no one had seen the gruesome scene. Next, the murderer is seen taking Tatiana's body into the elevator, putting her down on the floor, and then raising his hands in a gesture that expresses remorse and shock. But this was all, of course, done for the cameras. After he arrives at his floor, Louis Philippe takes the body out of the elevator before coming back with a rag and stops to wipe what seems to be blood from the walls and the floor. These scenes are more shocking when you take into account the ease with which he cleans his tracks. After all of this, the aggressor tried to escape by coming back down and getting his car. Louis Philippe drove away from where it all happened, but was soon found by the police after several residents called to report seeing a man picking up a victim's body from the pavement. One witness even recounted hearing the husband shouting, quote, My love, wake up. The murderer drove a long distance of 185 miles or 300 kilometers from his apartment complex. He was found so quickly only because he crashed his car on the motorway. Louis Philippe, when asked why he ran away, said that he fled the scene because he was, quote, too disturbed by the images of his wife jumping off of the balcony. According to the report, there was no evidence of any chemical reaction that took place in Tatiana's body prior to her falling to her death. No traces of adrenaline or cortisol were present, which would indicate fear or awareness of plummeting to the ground. Experts say that the young woman was already dead when she hit the pavement. She also had high alcohol content in her blood, which was normal taking into consideration that they had come home from a birthday celebration. 
the lawyer also suffered multiple fractures to the rest of her body, consistent with a 40-foot drop onto concrete pavement. Upon further investigation, the imprints of a pair of hands were discovered on her throat. Her hyoid bone, located at the front of her neck, was fractured. This injury is commonly associated with strangulation, further strengthening the theory which said Tatiana was already dead prior to falling on the pavement.